What's up dudes and dudettes and welcome to another 3D printer build and you might be wondering wait we haven't even finished this 3D printer in fact we haven't I'm gonna be building another 3D printer this one I actually think is missing some parts to go into it before I definitely start this stream properly with a nice smoke um this printer specifically I believe is missing some form of top for the print bed I believe it needs uh, either a, uh, what's it called? Man, that thing got dirty. It's either a PCB board or a glass sheet. And I don't know what we would prefer to have on here, but needless to say, this thing is missing parts. I went through all the catalog and it's not that it's necessarily missing parts, it just doesn't come with them. If you want those things, you have to buy them separately. That's why it was so cheap. So, I don't have much hope in finishing this printer anytime soon without spending a lot more money on other parts. And I don't know if it'll even work because this one has the dual extruders and I'm just trying to set it up. The dual extruders and the double tips and all these weird things that I've never used before. So I don't know if it'd be a good idea to actually try to finish this printer and use it to finish the rest of my SpaceX build, which I'll actually show off in just a second. Um, I, I'm just hesitant. I don't think this is a very good printer in the sense that I feel like it was a cheap printer that they just put as many possible upgrades on that they could, which is okay. I mean, it's a great printer. I just, yeah, it's gonna take a lot of fadangling to get this one done. Just, yeah, to clarify it real easily. Now, let me move, oh, speaking of, the new and lovely vape. Oh man, just got the like Vanna showing off here. Uh, it is a single percolator. I thought it had double, but it is a single percolator with three cool tanks and it works for both dab and weed, which is making me really happy. It is a freaking amazing little vaporizer. I'm glad that I've got it. I tried it only once today, so that's gonna be fun to test out in the stream. Let's get this shit out of the way. Now, this is not the priority of the stream. This is the other 3D printer. Let me see if I can lift all this stuff out of the way and I'll put the new 3D printer on the ground. There are a lot of pieces, bear with me. I've tried to keep everything together because I didn't want to lose parts, but yeah, I definitely have to move them. Here we go. <laughs> so, this one, you may recognize. It is almost identical to the first printer that, well, technically my second printer, but the first printer I bought for this SpaceX stuff. Yeah. And it is not by the same company, go figure, because I really didn't like the other company. Their customer support was absolutely fucking atrocious. So I decided, even though I was gonna buy the same printer, I refused to buy it from the same company. I hope. Yeah. It's still the same thing. I assume it is, it looks the same, everything is identical. It's gonna be pretty damn easy to put together, so let's do this. I think we have to do something else first. Now this thing, believe it or not, it does plug in, which, let me see if I can, it plugs into the wall with a computer port. You know you have a powerful vaporizer when it needs 120 volts. <laughs> All right, and flip it on. Oh wait, hold on. Before I do that, let's take off the top. Let me refill the screen. I have some weed in here already, but it is not maxed out by far. Is it even slightly burnt? Ooh, barely. I'll take that. Heck yeah. What's up, Toka? Welcome to the stream. I'm glad you're here, man. I'm about to test out my new vaporizer. How have you been this lovely day? I've been working my fucking butt off. I've been doing nothing but working on Bitcoin stuff for seven hours, six and a half hours, something like that. It's needless to say, been a hell of a day. There we go. Loader on up. This thing's actually pretty clever. 
It's got a screen that you load all your stuff into, and then you have a secondary tiny screen that goes on top of that to make sure all your weed stays in there while you're inhaling. And then you just slip it down like so, put the top back on, and then turn it on. So you notice, or at least I hope you notice, it turns red. I don't know if I can... There you go. It's glowing red. Ooh. It actually has a light in here. And you're recording CSGO. That's cool. Uh, this red light turns green whenever it's ready to smoke, which is pretty damn cool. I have to admit, I really like this vaporizer. I really do. I've only used it once so far, but I'm really, really looking forward to keep using this thing. All righty. So... This is going to be very necessary. This tape right here is what saves us whenever uh, I need to print stuff. Let us start pulling foam pieces. I haven't smoked yet because it's still heating up, but that's okay. Let's... I forgot that these things were zip tied. There's some foam pieces everywhere. Nope. There we go. But yeah, Toka, I almost got that second vlog done today. I'll probably have it, uh, once again, uploaded by tonight, but not make it public until tomorrow. Well, sweet. Get all my tools ready. Whoop! What's up, Night Runner? Welcome to the stream. I definitely am going to need my hex keys. Do I need... This is Imperial. I'll probably need Metric, if I'm being honest. It's a Chinese printer. There we go. Metric Allen keys, and I think that's it. Maybe a flathead so that I can cut through stuff. That sounds weird, but mainly tape and plastic and stuff. Get it out. There we go. How are you doing this lovely day, Night Runner? I asked that for Toka, and it just said recording CSGO. That's not really a how are you doing, but I'll take it. Let's pop open the box. It's an unboxing stream. There we go. But yeah, I spent, oh man, at least six and a half hours today working on uh, Bitcoin stuff and everything else. Interesting. They actually have a nice quick start guide in this one. So it definitely is by a different company. Wow. It's like full blown, like good instructions. Like with pictures and actual English and everything. <laughs> awesome. And then we've got the, of course, color. Well, I'm not going to be putting that in. You're doing good, Toka? Well, that's nice to hear. <laughs> also good to hear that you're doing pretty damn good as well, Night Runner. I do believe... Ooh, we can use that to start cutting some stuff open too. Sweet. This is still heating up, by the way. So it's still red if you can't tell. It'll turn green momentarily. So here's our brackets that we get this thing locked on. It does have a bunch of tools with it. The <laughs> I can't remember what they were calling them last time. They're like tie wraps or no. It was something rope. I think it was plastic rope is what they called these last time. It's zip ties. You're watching classic who? Ooh. So you'll just mute and put me on the second monitor for now? Okay, that's cool. <laughs> Get all these up. Everything looks good. Hey, it turned green. I'm going to take a hit in just a second. It's definitely a different USB stick. They do still have the double extruders and all of that stuff and extra parts, which is nice. They put them all in a single bag, which is even nicer. I do believe... We are ready. Let's start doing this. First off, smoke a bowl. Now, I would smoke this on stream, but no, I don't know about Twitch and all that shit. So, I'm coming off stream. Uh, you guys will obviously know what's going on. Oh, man. They get hit good. I wish smoke would show up on camera a lot better, but due to the saturation and the lighting, it doesn't. 
Oh, man, does this thing taste good. Man, does this taste good. Uh, back to this thing I see. No primordialism. This is actually a different printer from a different company because fuck that other company. That other company was so bad. Their customer, customer support pissed me off so much, I will not go back to that company. It's technically the same printer, but it's not the knockoff of this printer. It is this printer. This one's the actual uh, creativity, 3D, whatever the hell printer. Back to this new printer. It, indeed. Back, back to. <laughs> This is definitely not... I'm going to take another hit from that thing, because it was fucking delicious. Be right back. Oh my god, it tastes so good. I, there's like no words to describe. It tastes like a perfect dab pen, if that makes sense. I'm trying to put this further behind me so that I'm not going to knock it over later. That doesn't work. That does. Okay, cool. Sweet. Man, does that taste good. That is such a good vaporizer. And you'll notice I'm not coughing like a crazy person. Turn sideways. <laughs> Thumbs up for me. All right, let's start this stream off properly. Grab the Dr. Pepper, smoke the bowl. Let's do this. Now, first things first, I believe it's going to want us to pull out the base. Uh, da, 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 da. Install the spool bracket. Install the decorative trim. Oh, oops, never mind. Uh, introduction, package contents, assembly. Holy crap, do they just expect you- <laughs> This one page is the entire assembly. Everything else is just bullshit. Wow, okay. Well, I mean, it's not a hard to- Yeah. It's not a hard to build printer, but <laughs> that's, that's fucking funny. On page three, all of your assembly instructions, and then on all the other pages, just bullshit. Ah, lovely Doc Pepper. Let's get this thing started. So, we got the control box. We've got, that was obnoxiously loud. We've got the gantry, which needs to be cut because it has zip ties. Thankfully, they gave us cutters. Snip, snip, and snip. Sweet. The gantry is all ready, and I don't think there's anything else in this. Nope, okay. Somewhere across my living room it goes. This looks okay. For some reason I'm looking for differences. I mean, I've already found some. This is different. It actually has an instruction manual. It has a different USB stick. It has uh, an actual parts holder bag rather than just random parts all over the place. I think this is good. Ooh, we got some loud music playing. See if I can turn my audio down a little bit. Know your shit assembly, pretty much. Pretty, pretty much. Let me get this pushed off to the side there and onto the bottom. Get your fingers below it. I don't think there's anything else in that either. Nope. You gotta love how simple this printer is to install. Like it, it's crazy. Let me get you right here. Sweet. Get this plastic wrap off. I need to scoot up. I apologize for that. I was way off screen. Now that I don't have parts all over the place. Ugh. There we go. Get this plastic off. It looks like this thing's already been assembled once. Uh, because there are some scratches on where this uh, gantry goes, but that's okay. Got all the plastic. It moves nice. It, ugh, it has the wobble, just like the other one does. God, I hate that wobble. CSGO doesn't like OBS? Well, that sucks. 
let us go over here into the box of goodies where I believe I'll have some screws. I don't think that's it. Nope. Where's the actual bag of screws? Oh, they just put them in here. Got it. Holy crap, saturation is red. There we go. Getting a little better. Oh, you had to reduce graphics and shit? Well, that's not OBS. That's your computer not liking to do both of them at once. Uh, let's put all four of those there. Put all three of those there. And then... I think... We need to start... If I remember correctly, it was like this. And I'm gonna have to bring that gantry up. If it can come... Why is it not... What? Hold on, is there another zip tie? There's another zip tie. Okay, good. I was about to say, that is way too much force required to move that. That gantry should be moving very easily. Oh, boy, no. Now let's lift that gantry up. Just like so. Oh, boy, no. Well, it seemed like you did care, Toka. You kind of freaked out there for a second. <laughs> Let's see... Do I need to put on those limit switches first? It's simply instructions. Screw into- it, there are no, like, it's just do it all. It doesn't tell you any- okay. <laughs> just complete it. I think these are the ones that we're gonna want. The Allen keys are actually bigger. They give you a lot more torque with these. That's nice. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to put my weird rubber band thing to keep this from falling down again. Oh well. So much shit that I need to think about. This printer wasn't bad. It's just the support from the company that I got. The first one, I should specify. The support from the company that I got was atrocious. Come on. There we go. Just hand tighten first. We're only like 17 minutes into this stream. I've already got the printers, like, built. <laughs> if only everything today went this quick. My god, it would have been such a good day. Today I've been doing a lot of, uh, wiring and shit. Just a bunch of stuff for the servers. I did some, uh, new breaker box running. I ran some new 6-2 wire. I ran a new uh, blower fan in my second server room. All stuff that I recorded and I'll put up in the, I guess, vlog. But I have no idea if what's going to make the cut. I recorded so much shit today, it's insane. Which is good, it means today was a productive day, but fuck. <laughs> Do we still have music playing? I can't even hear it anymore. It went awkward. Oh no. Hold on, let me see. Uh, it looks like music is still playing. Huh. Alright, I'll keep it. I just skipped whatever the hell it was doing. I think it was a hidden track. Or it's like five minutes of silence before the song comes back up. The recording looks bad quality, but it's fine. Wait, this recording or you're recording on OBS? It may be the way that you're encoding it. If it's making your computer go that slow and you have to change settings, it's probably just the way that you're encoding it. You're recording. Okay, good. Not, well, let me clarify that. Not good that your recording's bad, but good that it's not my recording. Because that would have been a oops moment. 17 minutes into the stream and it's like, by the way, your recording sucks. <laughs> Alright, now that they're all in here, let's start tightening them down. Add a good amount of torque to each one. Flip it again. Oh yeah! And I went to Lowe's because I had to buy some leveling sand, uh, some new conduit, some more wire, and... Fuck, I forgot the 
PVC pieces. Oh, I had to buy some random things for the tortoises that I'm going to finish up the misters and everything else tomorrow. I went there, and the guy was having some troubles for some reason. I couldn't tell why, but he was having troubles checking me out. And I finally asked him, I was like, what's the problem? I looked over. The thing rung up at 14900 and some odd dollars. Apparently, he had accidentally put in 3,964 bags of sand. Holy shit! <laughs> the, no, I don't need 4,000 bags of sand, so he was trying to figure out how to fix that while I, it blew me away. I almost just charged 14 grand for some play sand. Uh, let's see here. I hope everyone else's day is a lot better than that. See, I, I said that. I hope I didn't say that. The going to Lowe's thing, but I didn't say the charge 14 fucking grand. That scared the crap out of me when that happened. <laughs> I'm glad he noticed there was a problem instead of just going swipe your card. Because I would have been screwed. Let's loosen all these up. I'm Right now I'm putting in the brackets on the sides, but I have to loosen up all of them. Yeah, I completely forgot about it for a little bit there, Toka. I, <laughs> it was a hell of a shock, but then it was more of a joking thing because he was already trying to figure it out. So it was just one of those, well, I'm glad it's not going to charge me 14 grand for sand. That, that was just insane. That was pretty much the only holy shit moment of the day. Everything else has been pretty standard. I just worked my butt off and kind of expected to do that all day. Indeed, 3D printer. And hello. Welcome back to the stream. Let's do these. Sweet. Okay, got that one locked in. These I have to just fadangle with for a second, so bear with me. It's not easy to get all 90, or all 90 of these, all of these 90 degrees and tightened up perfectly. They're clever how they're designed, though. They're like little uh, T spacers that they go into these, uh, I was about to say ruts, but that's not correct. They go into these uh, depressions, and they perfectly flip sideways and lock on. It's a really clever design. There we go. Ugh. Next! The main- oops. Mic- or not mic bump. Uh, camera bump. The main thing about this one is just getting it all set up. Like, it's, it takes... 30 minutes to an hour to set up, and then you just gotta level the bed and test print, which will probably get to the test print before the end of the day. I hope so. The stream's probably only gonna be about an hour and a half long, because we're already halfway done with it. All good. Put this where it has to go. If I can get them to go where they have to go. There's one. Come on. Come on, there we go. Next two. It's such a pain to get these things to go in. They're clever, they really are, but my god. <laughs> Wait, hold on. That's not the right size Allen wrench, is it? No, it's not. Where did I just... No! Okay, found it. Allen wrenches running away are a bitch. Ha ha! Got it. You gotta get all of these perfectly lined up, otherwise they don't work. That SketchUp will come in use? Hell yeah, it is! Yeah, 3D printer, bong, Bitcoin mining, and KSP, this channel has everything, indeed. <laughs> I tend not to stick to just one thing for too long. I'm always doing something. There we go. Honestly, I didn't know how those vlogs were going to turn out. How's it going? It's doing pretty good, Fun Bun. How about yourself? Your arms look like they have hot Cheetos powder. It's the saturation. Like, if I let it stop for a second, 
and try to find yeah see that's about more normal my hands uh, I say that's about norm more normal that's like if I hit my hand on something they're not quite that red I am about that albino but I'm not quite that red it you can see the difference between the tan and the whiteness there we go the farmer's tan for the win I've almost got all of these in there but yeah trust me I'm not orange I may be a little bit red because I've been outside for two days straight, but that's more of a tan than anything else. Sweet. All right, now we have all of that stuff done. You've been napping for like four hours? Well, that's good. Oh, shit. Already popping my back. Ah. Oh. Grab a swig of soda. And I believe we're already like halfway done or 70% done. We've got all the building done, except for adding a uh, holder to that. Interesting. Nice. Well, let's pop these real quick. Oh, good. Glow in the sunlight. You aren't that white? Believe it or not, I actually am. It's just the saturation. I, like, I can... Ugh. There's the tan... Farmer's tan. <laughs> Barely any tan so far, but I, I turn white as a sheet of paper in my legs and my underarms. I tend not to go sunbathing, because, you know, I'm a dude that lives in Texas and is a nerd, so... <laughs> Sweet Jesus, this is Carrot Man. He came off the soil. <laughs> uh, you match the keys on your piano? Oh, man. Want to fight? <laughs> no, I'm good. Uh, I'm good. thought we were trying to debate, like, who's more white here. Wouldn't it be want to sue? <laughs> I'll sue you. I'm more white. I'll sue you. <laughs> All right, the glass is fairly decent. It actually looks better than that. It's thinner, which is odd, but it looks better. It looks like it's a better quality. I assume they just take whatever tempered glass they can find real cheap, and then they just throw it on here. It might not even be tempered. Get these. You might be like, what are you doing? Uh, I'm just putting on a piece of masking tape to theoretically test this printer. It's a little bit of a pain in the ass to put these things down. In fact, it is really a pain in the ass to do these things. I like the strips a lot better because you don't have to fight it. Where is the... There it is. All right. Oh, man, look at that massive air bubble right there in the center. Oh, look at that massive air bubble. Let me see if I can squeeze that out. Good enough. I don't want it to be dragging too much. That's why I like that roll of tape better. Whenever you use these big old patches, it's, too bi it's just like a sticker on a car or something. You can too easily get air bubbles underneath it. And it's not like you can put these things down wet and then slowly let the adhesion work. Looks good enough for me. Just remember, glue sticks are a good alternative. Yeah, I haven't actually used the glue sticks yet. I think I'm going to pick them up whenever I run out of tape this time around. Actually, those on the back can stay up. Uh, I think I'm going to use glue sticks this time around. Because I can't find this exact style of masking tape. And now that sounds weird. It's like, oh, you can find masking tape everywhere. I know. Trust me. I've picked up like five different rolls that look exactly the same, but they have different adhesion qualities or they have like they're waxy on top or there is some freaking difference and I can't find this exact same tape. So I'll probably go to glue sticks whenever I run out of that tape this time around. 
All right. Well, I do believe that's it. Like, flip it around, do some leveling, and it's done. But that was a fast assemble. If it's done, it looks done. It is done. That's, it's it's done. Supposedly. <laughs> GG. Why? Thank you. Before I go find a search for, well, I guess there's one more thing we could do because you know it's so important. It's it's just insane. If you don't do this, you just you're lost. If you can't tell the sarcasm, I'm being extremely sarcastic right now. We have to attach this thing, <laughs> which is basically just your spool holder. Like so, tighten it on up. I can't remember how I had it last, I think I had it that way. Yeah. Because I like keeping this on the left side. No, did I? Yes, I had it left. My brain is breaking here, I can't remember exactly. Oh, I can't find the hole. <laughs> it sounds like a personal problem. Got that one. KSP IRL stream? Uh, that will be coming soon, Toka. Very, very soon. In fact, I mentioned it in the vlog yesterday, I think. I think that was how I ended it. There we go. All that's ready. Now the only thing that's left to do is to smoke. <laughs> I'm going to smoke another bowl. If I can get... Oh, I'm falling backwards. Not good. Okay, there we go. I was losing my balance. That was terrible. I leaned up against a chair that started to rotate away from me. Let's get this all heating on up again. It turned red. Ooh, so spooky. I don't think you can see the redness, but it, the center column turns red whenever it's not the right temperature. Sweet. Seriously, have we had any audio this whole... I feel like there's no audio. No, there's music. Okay. Step one, KSP RL stream. Step two, RPG seven. What? There is audio. It's fine. Okay, cool. Thank you, Toka. It keeps getting awkwardly silent on my end because I got my TV turned down so low and I can't tell. I'm not close enough to my other monitor to be able to see the music and everything going. Wait, what? Infinity? Oh, had the biggest open of any movie ever, so that's cool. Indeed. Yes, yeah, step two, have me print some North Korean stickers. Nah, let's stay away from that one. Because, <laughs> you know, what I want on the outside of my rocket is just big old North Korean flag right there. <laughs> Please be quiet or else. Wait, uh, why? Who cares, Toka? You can openly talk about things like that. That's what? What? Oh, you, you're you talking about Infinity War. Oh, I was so confused. <laughs> Thanos has sex with Gamora, and they have a Barney the dinosaur that kills and eats the... Wow, nice. Oh, bong is still eating up. I'm gonna take another swig of soda. Nice. The one thing I don't like is that it has to heat up. I mean, I could always leave it plugged in, but I'm not that type of person. I'll always turn it off every time I hit it. It just means I have to wait like four minutes anytime that I want to smoke. <laughs> well, I guess what I could do is flip this on around. I'm gonna have to do all the leveling here in a moment, so I will have to, once again, make the stream go away. Come on. There we 
There we go. Wall to the right. There's a Facebook QR code. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. The world is so weird. I, I can't get the sticker off. They used hella adhesive on this. God damn. They do not want you to peel off the Facebook QR code. <laughs> okay, never mind. It'll stay on there permanently. Time to smoke. It turned green. Oh, man! Hulk was made to look like a bitch in Infinity War? Oh, man. I didn't know that. I don't even care, like, honestly. <laughs> I haven't even watched it yet, but if I, it gets spoiled, it won't matter to me at all. I'll just still watch it. Batman dies in Star Wars 10? What? <laughs> all right. Oh, damn. That one has an aftertaste of popcorn. Okay, so I think that's the... It's getting close to being done with. Let me take one more hit off of it, and I bet that'll be the last hit. All good. Nice. It's so weird. Like, I can cover this whole area with smoke, and you guys barely see, like, a little wisp. <laughs> it makes no sense. Yep. That's definitely done with. It tastes like straight-up popcorn. And it got me a cough. So, it does indeed prevent me from coughing until I run out of weed. And I have officially ran out of weed. I have a little bit left in my grinder, but if I'm being honest, I'm going to use that for some resin topper later. Trying to make sure this thing doesn't fall over. Hold on, I need to place it somewhere. It's definitely not going to fall over. You know, the $500 vaporizer that I'd love to just have smash on the ground. Okay. Let's see if we can get all this rolling. <sighs> lots of shit. Lots and lots of shit. Almost done, though. And we should have a test print on here, so I don't even have to really do anything. Flip it around. <laughs> oh shit! I don't. I don't know if I can show this. It just made me giggle hysterically, though. Now, this—it's really hard to focus on. But this is screwed together because it's supposed to hold it tight to the cable. This thing free spins, which is hilarious. That. <laughs> It's completely against the way that those are supposed to work, but okay. Plug that in. Wait. Now it's just a matter of plugging all these damn things in. So what is this? This is the E. E is the extruder motor. Let's see y'all. I'm trying to figure out how the fuck I'm going to do this without getting in the camera. I think I might have to just do a very quick uh, mute, not mute of the camera, good job, the blackout of the camera. Got the hiccups again. Oh, they're so obnoxious. It's like every fucking time that I smoke, I get the hiccups. I think this is, let me double check, X. I believe X is this direction, Y is this direction, and Z is up and down. Let me double check this.
It doesn't tell you at all. Attach Z couplers. They are definitely already attached. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Four bolts, brackets, all of that. Uh, aha! Here it is. Your 3D printer is now assembled. <laughs> okay, so the X stepper and the limit switch. Got it. So both of these. This should be the X stepper. It is. And this should be the X. Yep. Cool. So this goes here. If I can turn it the right way. Goes in X. And this one goes in the stepper mode here. Or the block. That was almost bad. Oh my god, it's such a pain. Why did they put it in there? What? Hold on, I'm gonna have to use a flathead to freaking push that one in. I assume that it's in there. I have no idea. Well, it doesn't pull out. Let's <laughs> Let's hope that it's in there. Oh, that feels crunchy too. Feels like that wire got kinked real bad. Let's hope the heating bed works. Let's see here. Uh, put that in. In Infinity War Part 2, you discover Thanos is Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> oh, man. Which... This is Z. Z is up and down, so we're gonna want this one here. Limit switch install. This is such a pain. Like, where they put these limit switches is such a fucking pain. They could have chose anywhere else. <laughs> There we go. Well, they really can't, but they could have freaking told you to put that in first. I, or I could have remembered to put that in first. Uh, let's put this one in. Oh. And then the last two limit switches. Over Should be ready. Cool. Well, let's plug it in. Turn it on. I've got a cable here already for the vaporizer. Go figure. This thing runs on the same amount of power that my vaporizer runs on. <laughs> That's not technically accurate, but the same cable nonetheless. It turns on! It's alive! That thing near the 3D printer looks like a Geiger counter. This, the main control board, indeed. Oh, I should probably use their shitty plastic for the test prints because I don't want to waste my good plastic on it. Looks okay to me. Now I'm gonna have to snip it. And then have to run it through the wire. Or run it through the, I guess it'd be considered conduit. There we go. Well, that's bitch. My printer. Hopefully that didn't jerk the camera around too much. Please stop. Shit, <laughs> this plastic is getting It's on such a small pool. School. I don't know if you can hear me. I'm sorry, I'm talking behind myself. Plastic, like it is insanely crappy plastic. Okay, let me see if I can re 
rewind this real fast. And I'm gonna have to be forced to take off this damn extruder piece. Or actually, I can probably just hang it right. Nope, it's in the extruder piece. It just can't fit through. What the fuck? Their plastic is so bad. Okay. Well, I'm very disappointed with how their cheapo uh, filament tool is. Like, good god, is it shaped. Usually after you cut it, it'll stay in a semi-straight direction. And that one definitely didn't. That one just straight up curves out. I don't know if you can tell that. It straight up curves, just... It is some shitty plastic, to say the least. Okay, got that back in. Now let's feed the plastic all the way to the nozzle. Sweet. Okay. I do believe we're ready. Ready to start testing. Uh, let's see. Prepare. Actually, let's do control, temperature, nozzle, crank it up to about a uh, 195. Okay, cool. Now I'm just waiting because this thing will very slowly come up to temperature. And after it does, I'll push that plastic through and we'll make sure that it's extruding. I don't want to have it trying to print before we have plastic in the extruder. <laughs> Chat has become a ton of weird ass quotes. I noticed. I'm trying not to read them because I just I can't keep up with it. If I tried to keep up with all the crap that's in chat right now and this at the same time, oh god. That would be no bueno. Waiting. It's already up to 100 degrees. It can boil water! Celsius, by the way, not Fahrenheit. I assume Celsius. I've never actually thought about that, and it doesn't tell you. Is this in Fahrenheit or Celsius? Let me, hold on, now I'm really confused. I think it's in Celsius. I wonder if it tells you anything about here. Cool down, preheat, ABS, blah, blah, blah. It just says current temperature. I assume, I've always just assumed it was in Celsius because it's a Chinese, but I have no actual idea there. The reason I think it's Celsius is because the print bed is usually about 45 to 50 degrees and it's hot enough to where you don't want to touch it. Like it's 120 degrees, which is 45 to 50 degrees Celsius. I think I'm pretty sure, pretty sure this is Celsius. <laughs> okay, it's almost up to temperature. Let's push some plastic through the extruder. Is it coming out yet? That's what she said. Oh, wait. It is. It's just in a very weird squiggly pattern. Got it. Because you know what you want to do is touch a 196 degrees Celsius nozzle with your fingertips. Okay, let's cool down. Control, temperature, nozzle, oop, temperature, nozzle, and put it back to zero. Because there's no need for us to keep that there. Control, control, and info screen. Sweet. Let's grab... There it is. The lovely little USB stick. Uh, hold on. The lovely little USB stick that they gave us. Which also has a memory card in it. And I assume this memory card... Ooh, it's 8 gigabytes. I doubt that. Very highly. Because if there is a single chip that literally just says... I don't know if I can get it to focus. It literally just says 8 gigabytes on it. It doesn't say SanDisk, it doesn't, there's not a single manufacturer's thing on here, it just says 8 gigabytes. I have a feeling it's probably not a very good chip. <laughs> Toss it in there. Okay, so here's the test. I need to grab my, ooh, it's actually right there. Ugh. Grab my flashlight. 
and then we're gonna start trying to test print. It should immediately work. Like, it should just immediately function, no problem. Uh, I don't know if it's going to immediately print correctly. That's probably not gonna happen. It needs to be leveled and everything else. All of these things are way off. There we go. So I guess let's try it. Worst case scenario is it fails epically, right? Let's go to SD card, initialize SD card, print, and cat.gco. Okay, well, I guess it has a cat in here. We're going to be printing a little pussycat. All good. I hope it's a little pussycat. Otherwise, it's going to be a massive waste of plastic. <laughs> You just realized there's background music? Indeed. That's not a micro USB, it's a virus. <laughs> That's some funny shit. Believe it or not, a lot of these things I do break open to see if they have any extra functionality to them. Uh, just because I was paranoid like that, but on the actual printer side you can straight up wipe the whole SD card from this thing so I'm not concerned about plugging the SD card specifically into my computer I'm more concerned about that SD card just blowing up because <laughs> that SD card is probably second or third rate SD cards that were trashed and they got really really cheaply just wait waiting Yeah, there's some plastic on the filament tip that I need to take off. Barely was able to do that. It's trying to heat up the print bed right now. Yeah, it feels like it's getting warm. I have too many calluses on my hand to be able to feel the heat from the palm. <laughs> That's crazy. But yeah, I can barely feel it on the back. Okay. Let's just let it heat up. Slowly but surely. Most trees are blue. I'm what? Now I'm confused. Jaden Smith is kind of out there though, right? Tony Stark is scared about a cube. I, is that a movie reference? <laughs> if that's referencing Infinity War, I'm an idiot. Because the only thing that I can remember, like, a cube, I'm thinking Transformers. And I was like, there is... Tony Stark had nothing to do with the AllSpark. <laughs> I was trying to think how that made any sense at all. It's almost up to 40 degrees. Slowly but surely. Tony Stark is scared about a big purple intelligent version of Hulk. Well, isn't that Thanos? <laughs> isn't that what Thanos is, technically? I have no reference on that. Like, I haven't watched the movie or anything else. Yeah, it's Thanos. Okay, good. <laughs> I have no reference whatsoever. I think we're good. I've got everything set up. Now, assuming this thing, you know, works... And doesn't just go and like start breaking everything um, which is possible by the way if you put the uh, limit switches on backwards or anything like that you can get some serious weird malfunctions so it'll be cool to see this thing work that would be the nice start and then also if uh, it prints perfectly the first time because da -da 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 -da. bed leveling 101 I need to start doing this, and I'm going to have to probably black out the screen while I put my face down at, like, this level, trying to make sure that that thing's barely a millimeter off the table. Prepare. Disable steppers. Indeed. Move the nozzle from front to left leveling screw and adjust the platform height by... Oh, okay. I was like, why didn't you auto-home first? They do. That, that's the first step. Prepare. Auto-home. And then disable steppers. This is exactly how I normally do it. And then move it from all four corners and see if it's touching it. Use a piece of A4, ooh, standard printer paper to assist with the adjustment, making sure the nozzle lightly scratches the paper. Oh, man, that's helpful. That's very helpful. I always did it just by my 
eye, like, to see if it... Specifically, to see if it looked like this crap, where it's like, does it look good? Does it look oblong? Does it look like it's scratching on the bed? All of that crap. Oh, wow, it almost went black and white while I was showing you that. Gotta love the auto-adjustment of this thing. Repeat above steps one to two times if necessary. I don't think I'm gonna need to do that, but I will definitely need to auto-level this thing, or level it in general, because I can almost guarantee it's not gonna work. Believe it or not, a line in the movie is pack it up, Squidward. Banner, you're embarrassing me in front of the wizard. Well, the banner, you're embarrassing me in front of the wizard thing. That, that I can see. <laughs> I'm just waiting for that movie to come out in high quality, and I'll watch it online. Because it's already online. I mean, the cameras for the thing are freaking everywhere. You don't, there is no need to go anywhere that's like illegal or anything. You can literally just find it posted everywhere. Whoop. Haha. -ha. That is right. Is that limit switch going to work? Aha. It works. Okay. Now. Give me a second. I swear to God. I'll be right back. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's going down far enough. Yeah. Holy crap, it is almost perfectly leveled. Holy crap. It needs to be brought up a little bit. Okay, so give me a second. Let me stop this print. And then we're gonna flip the camera back for a second. Yeah. What? No, wrong one. There we go. <laughs> it's just like wrong hotkey. That, I'm not playing Zelda today. Let's go to prepare. Yeah. Auto home. I'll have to pick all this off, but it looked a little oblong. I didn't know that printer paper thing was possible. <laughs> I sound crazy, but I didn't know that was possible. I'm actually going to do a version of their printer paper. So this is paper, obviously. This is the paper that I pulled off the back of this tape. Now, this is very clearly lighter than paper, uh, but there is also one of those on the back of this piece of tape. So I'm thinking that since the corners don't have tape on them, I can put the tape down Put another piece of paper on top, and if it scratches that piece of paper, golden. Golden. <laughs> golden. Trying to get a thumbs up where you can actually see it is very weird from that perspective. Okay. Let's do this. I'm going to have to level this manually, so just give me a brief moment. It won't take me long at all, I swear. It's just I have to do it off camera because my face is going to be about this level. Uh, prepare... Disable steppers. And let's do this. I swear I'll be talking my way through it the whole time. I swear. <laughs> Alright, so going down for the first one. Now, actually, I do... Well, this sucks. I have to disable the steppers twice because there's a lot of extra plastic on this thing. All good. Got it cleaned up. Now let's auto home again because I have to. Prepare. Auto home. Disable steppers. Sweet. Okay. First corner. I'm actually going to use these lovely clips to hold down my paper. Alrighty. Got it on the first corner. Let me flip this paper around. This is really easy. I, I'm glad they told me how to do that. 
I've always just done it by eye, made where it looks proper. <laughs> just, yeah. Okay, that one actually looks good already. Sweet. Let me... The last two. I'm almost done. quarter turn and about a quarter turn it's it's done nice that was insanely quick for a leveling now to see if that actually works <laughs> that will be the key let's flip this back and let's get this small amount of plastic it did lay down from the cat off of here it didn't have enough pressure but it did I mean it was already printing if I damn it stop falling it was already printing. Cool. Let's see if it does this. Print from SD. Give me the little kitty cat. It should almost immediately start running. I was trying to bring it up so it didn't drag across the tape on its way over. Sweet. Bam! <laughs> As it slams into the side. Bring it on down. Now let's see if this thing prints. It's entirely possible, but you never know. It's laying plastic. Ooh. Man, there's something in there that sounds sketchy. In the sense that it, it sounded like a bearing's already bad when it tries to go fast. But it looks like it's printing perfect. Hell yeah! <laughs> First test print! <laughs> there we go. Thumbs up! Woo! Alright, cool. Who knows how long it's actually going to take to print this test print? It's, uh... Oh, that's 1% fan speed. I was like, it's already 1% bullshit! It is probably going to take a while, if I'm being honest. I don't know how much... I assume their test print won't take more plastic than their test plastic spool. But who knows. But hell yeah, in about an hour, we went from fully disassembled to assembled and running. That is not bad at all. I really do like this printer. It's not a bad printer. I just hated the other company that I bought this from. I can't even remember the name of the company. But that company was so bad. I know it's not create whatever this one. I know it's not these people. Uh, I just know that. Oh, Hick Top or H I C Top, whatever it is. Fuck those people. They were so bad. Every time I contacted uh, contacted them, telling them something was going wrong with this printer, they're like, "Oh, level your bed," or "Have you tried restarting it?" And it psh yeah, okay, because that's going to fix my printing problem, is restarting the printer. <laughs> uh, besides the fact that I had already done that like four times, it's just their customer support beat my head into the ground so many times that I refused to go for the same uh, printer with them. Send you a picture of the test print when it's done? Will do, Toka. I'll be posting it to Discord just like I did the last one. Uh, let's see, is it? Properly laying down? Oh yeah, it's properly laying plastic down. Let me double check on my own real quick. I uh, will be right back. Oh yeah, it's, yep, it's good. It's perfect. It's perfect. I mean, there's, it's already printing exactly like the other one was, and it's, I mean, took less than an hour to build. I am fucking happy. Now, we do still need to uh, use our plastic rope, or whatever the hell that they called it in the HCI top manual. We do need to use this to kind of clean up all the wiring. I'm going to have to put a rubber band to the top so that it holds this wiring and this tubing up, because whenever it gets really, really 
low sometimes it tends to kick that cable every time it goes back and it drives me nuts i don't like the hotbed hitting all the cables uh but other than that i mean sweet it's already done Yesterday you called Windows support because your computer couldn't load Windows and they said just try turn it on and off again and call us again. <laughs> yeah, see that shit drives me crazy. Considering I run an IT business and everything else, specifically 3D printer, it doesn't apply to this, but uh, whenever I call like AT&T or Suddenlink telling them that their services are down and they start telling me like to go through the process of restarting my router and all of that shebang, I'm just... I, I face palm so hard. It's just, it just... It drives me crazy. But, I think this is pretty much where we can call it quits on the stream, if I'm being honest. Unless I was gonna... Ah, I don't like the way that... That sometimes vibrates. It sounds funky. But it looks like it's printing just fine. We're already at 1.1 millimeters. So it's already... Ooh, wow. That's actually printing really quick. It must have almost a completely hollow object weird oh well it's not even close to showing me that it's like on the progress bar so this will probably take two to three hours to print i have no doubt uh maybe closer to six and i sure as hell don't want to be waiting for six hours on the stream while waiting on that so i think this is a great time to call it quits uh let's see is there anything i could talk about before oh yeah so the SpaceX stuff, the whole reason that we're doing this in the first place is so that I can build a working SpaceX grasshopper rocket. I want it to literally fly 1500 meters into the air and then come back and land on the same place that it took off from. Which is not going to be easy. I fully understand that. But, uh, as I try to get more parts, I have started, slowly but surely, buying all the parts we need for this. Uh, that's the one that I haven't opened yet. Let's not open up a brand new box for no reason. I've started getting our high power pack LiPo batteries. I've started, probably want to keep it down here. Uh, I've started getting our high power LiPo batteries. I've got our motors. I've got a whole bag of servos. This is actually 10 servos and I can show you. They're really tiny but they have enough torque. It's like five pounds of torque or something like that. It's enough to move my thrust vectoring plates, no problem. Uh, oh, here's another thing. I have to stretch to get it. I've got the balancing charger uh, that I had to custom wire to a PSU and everything else, but it is indeed working. I've got the motors, I've got uh, all of this crazy shit. I think there's even more that I'm forgetting, but I've got so much crap that we pretty much right now have everything we need to build it. We have all of the Arduino stuff, we have the tilt sensors, we have all, I mean, literally everything. The GPS, the gyroscopes, the accelerometers, the, uh, the motors, the batteries, the fuck, you name it, we probably have it. And if we don't have it, it's only going to be about a 20 or $30 expenditure so I can easily get the parts and have them on the way the moment we need them. This is fucking awesome. I'm really happy to get back into the SpaceX stuff. And very soon, you'll pop back in in a bit, Primordialism? Well, I'll probably be gone in a bit. Uh, very, very soon, we're going to be able to start having more SpaceX streams where I'm sitting here building it. I only need, uh, I think, eight parts? No, 12 parts for those legs. Uh, we need the brackets that hold it off of the ground, and we need the piston covers. Other than that, it's it's done. The landing legs are completely done. We need uh, three more of those shell pieces, and then we need to make the propeller, the turbine itself, to see how we're going to do that. If we can use a single prop, or if we're going to have to have an actual turbine. Who knows? It's probably not going to be that heavy, so it's going to be interesting. <laughs> SNASA, the Stoner National Air. Nice. Very nice. Very nice, Toka. I think I'm going to call it quits here. I do appreciate everyone for dropping by. It has been a pretty nice stream. And it's all been built in like an hour and a half, so I can't really complain. Uh, with that, I'm going to leave it off here. Thank you all once again for dropping by and hanging with me today. It's been insanely interactive, which is fucking awesome. I love it when the streams are actually interactive and I can talk to everyone. Uh, I don't think I have anything else to ramble about. I'm going to get to editing the vlog and see if I can get that up by tonight. Maybe I'll post it in Discord for anyone who wants to watch it a little bit early. 
Past that, thanks once again, and see y'all tomorrow.